Video retention is the measure of how long viewers keep watching your video before clicking away. So if you would click away right now, that would be bad for me. Anyway, there's actually a lot you can do in editing to make sure your viewers keep watching until the end. For example, trick number one, showcasing a before and after. Take a look at these two blocks of footage. They both show you the same thing, but one of them is better retention wise. All it shows is a color gray before and after. The first one is not bad, but it's just jumping from before to after. But now look at the second version. This one has movement animation, and because it's constantly switching between the not color graded and color graded footage, the viewer will have to think more and he can clearly see the difference. Much better than the first one. Now, it's extremely simple to make something like this. So, first of all, make sure you have two clips on top of each other. The first one is not color graded and the second one is. Now, I want to go back and forward between them. So, simply add a few cuts to your clip and remove everything in between. As you can see, it now kind of jumps from non-graded to graded. Now, select all the top clips and drag them onto the first clip. Then in the effects browser, find the linear wipe effect, but not Premiere's version. Use the one from Film Impact. If you don't see this one, just update Premiere and you'll have it. Then drag it onto the first cut we have. This already looks cool, but if you select the transition, go to the effect controls. And here, we can change everything about the linear wipe effect. For example, let's get rid of the feather. You can also adjust the angle if you'd like. Let's set it to 90 for example. And if you scroll down, you can add a stroke to the middle. That looks very good. Now back to the timeline. Select the transition and hit control Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now select the next cut and hit Ctrl plus V to paste it. Do that for all your clips and there you go, very cool and simple. Retention trick number two, animated captions and please don't use the text panel in Premiere, it's terrible. Instead, I use Submagic. They were kind enough to sponsor this video, thank you so much. This tool will transcribe your videos accurately, unlike Premiere, and it will add animated customizable captions. So I'm in my dashboard, I simply click generate captions and upload my video. It will then automatically detect the spoken language and when I'm done, I click generate captions. Wait a few seconds and there you go. Next you can see these presets. I always use Leon. It's the best looking in my opinion. Oh, and they also add new presets constantly by the way. I can adjust the position and scale so it fits my video or you can change the color if you like. Editing the captions is easy too because you don't really have to, it's super accurate. If it does make a mistake, you can always adjust it in here. Now adding B-roll automatically is also super cool. Submagic will detect what you're talking about and add it to your video, if you want that of course. When I'm done, I click export and choose my quality settings. In the meantime, you can even generate a caption with hashtags that fits your video. Next to captions, you can also use magic clips. This will turn one long video into multiple shorts. It automatically detects potential viral clips, which is super useful. You can edit all of them as much as you want. You have full customizability. And of course, you can add captions the same way as you learned before. I will leave a link down below where you can try Submagic for free or use the code Premier Basics for 10% off. Retention trick number three, creative transitions. For example, look at my tutorial here. This is the intro of my video and this is where my tutorial start, okay? Now it simply jumps from my face to the screen recording, which is fine. But let me show you something better. As you can see, I use the middle of my screen recording to create a custom transition. It takes just two minutes to do this, but your retention... So first you want to add a cut to the point where you want the transition to end. Then in the effects browser, find the crop effect and drag it to your clip. Then go back, find the transform effect and drag that to your clip as well. Now head over to the effect controls and in here, find the crop effect. Select it and in the program monitor, drag the top line to somewhere in the middle on the line where Premiere's panels are divided. Now move the playhead to the end of the clip and go to the transform effect. In here, add a position keyframe. Now move the playhead back in time and adjust the position so the Premiere recording comes from below. That will give you a linear slide in animation. Now expand the velocity curves of the position property and pull the lever of the last keyframe to ease the animation in. Then scroll down a little and increase the shutter angle to introduce some motion blur. And that's basically it. Next you gotta do is go back to the timeline, hold down Alt and drag your clip one track up. This will duplicate it. Then select it, go back in the effect controls and in here, adjust the crop so that this time, you'll only see the top part of Premiere. Then move the playhead to the first keyframe of the transform animation, adjust the position to move it all the way on top, and now if you play it back, you'll have this beautiful Premiere transition. You can do this with anything by the way, as long as it has something in your shot that you can divided with. Retention trick number four, some fun stuff. Take a look at this timeline and see what I did here. 
you only have 15 minutes left to finish your project. So you're editing as fast as you possibly can. As you saw, the sweaty gamer dude enhanced what I was saying in a fun and engaging way. Doing simple stuff like this can really hook your viewers and increase your watch time because they're seeing something similar. You see what I did there? Don't overdo this, of course. Number five, zooming in and out on your clips when you're talking for a longer period of time. Sometimes you just can't show stuff when you're explaining something. So what you can do to keep viewers watching is using a zoom effect. To create one in Premiere, I use a combination of the transform effect and smoothify. It's a free plugin I use constantly. Let me show you. So first, using the transform effect, create a zoom in animation like this. It slowly zooms in on your video, but the animation is a bit linear. And of course, you can ease the keyframes, but it's still not enough. Before I used Smoothify, I went into the curve section and try to make them smoother like that. But come on, that's terrible. Instead, put the playhead somewhere in between the keyframes. That's it. Now go to the Smoothify tab and create a curve like this. It's kind of like an After Effects. Now select both the position and scale property and then click the play button to apply it. It's that simple. Now if you go back, you can see all these keyframes from Smoothify. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. And look at that. That looks awesome. Now if you want five more plugins like this, click the video right here on my left to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.